first thing you notice is my butt. Uh, <laughs> that's I, well, I mean, you can't, that's, that's a given. That's a given. It's a glorious, like magical, mystical creature. Hey guys, welcome back to that figure skating show. Uh, this week, we, Dylan and I, are looking back at my skating programs over the years. Just to be fair, since we judge everybody else all over the world, we want to show that we are equal opportunity judge, judges, judges. Judges is just the word. Yes. Judges yeah. is not a word. Yeah. Um, We're going to enjoy your programs. We're not going to judge them. We're going to enjoy them and then give some insight. I am. I'm going to judge oh. them. Sure. Uh, so then I'll support you while you bash yourself. Yeah. Yes. Please, <laughs> uh, please support me while I do, you know, terrible damage to my own self worth. Uh, so. Oh boy. <laughs> it's gonna be messy, people. First program up is my 2012 World's Free Dance. Uh, that I skated with Karis Rao at our first and only Worlds in Nice, France, uh, to a medley of Glover Gill's uh, music, uh, Tosca Tango. You look magnificent. Right. So, um, first thing you notice is my butt. Uh, <laughs> I can't, well, I mean, you can't, that's, that's a given. That's a given. It's a glorious, like magical, mystical creature. Um, Ooh, I like the I like the twizzling around each other. Yeah, you so this see is that very a sick often. Sequence. I still think it's pretty sick to this day. I like the pattern, the way it crisscrosses and then comes back down mm -hmm. the middle. Uh, yeah, I think that's pretty sick. Ooh, I like that walk thing, the walk forward thing. You really like led with the chin. Did there. I give it? Did I give her? Yeah. I gave it. Yeah, it's, it had that. It had that like Argentinian like flair, you know. Um, also, you're so fresh faced. I you know. know. I'm not used to seeing you without Last... facial hair anymore. <laughs> <laughs> well, now that I could actually grow it, plus these, uh, you know, these last uh, nine years have just worn me down, you know. It's, <laughs> <laughs> just really aged me. I look like Barack Obama at the end of his presidency. <laughs> <laughs> so amazing. You look amazing. Such nice extension. I always love when you, when you, even when you just take a push, your leg just like, whoosh, you know, like yeah. that would be, that would be like the risk element in my program. Doing a spiral <laughs> was like the hardest thing I could possibly do. It's like lifting an elephant. Well, on the you know, foot. it's, um, that's, you know, it's what I paid tens of thousands of dollars for legs extension. So it might as, it better look, it better look Ooh. at least. Oh, hand kiss. I don't remember any of the programs like I skated, like how I felt. I just know when we came to this world, we were just like, we're the sacrificial lamb because we were a third place team. Uh, <laughs> this year at nationals, actually, we didn't even medal. We came fourth, but Piper and Paul, because they were a new partnership, she couldn't skate for Canada yet, being from America. So this was our only, so we got here. That's cool. Reality, but we still finished in 12th. So that was pretty sick. You deserved it. You guys look amazing. Our goal was just to make the free dance. We made out a little bit all the time there. We always yeah. give a little kiss. Yeah. By accident. It was an. Did you give? Did you keep it PG? Um. Ooh. Well, like you know, like our coach John uh, John Ooh, Lane. I like that. They, uh, Dancing is a vertical interpretation of a horizontal desire. So that's how we tried to keep it, you know? <laughs> oh, God love John. It's sexy, keep it PG. Uh, but just the desire is all in your head and your mind. All right, there's a crotch lift. I hate this position for me. I don't know if my leg is in front. It's, it's gross. Uh, it should have been behind, but it's OK. Hindsight is 20-20. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but what I really love about this music um, is that it's not i feel like awesome. a lot of times when we get tangos we often hear about we hear liber tangos this one is a little bit more complex has more variety 
changes of tempo, uh, really intricate <clears throat> sounds, especially with the cello, violin, and the piano. Uh, Glover Gill is an amazing uh, artist, if you ever look him up. Um, but yeah, this was a really sick performance. Wikipedia Worlds, nailing it, a clean program. Um, look at those, look at those cute kids just going out there having fun. No cares in the world. No cares in the world? Fun. Cares? Cares in the world? That would be terrible. Oh, sorry, I missed your pun. No, wait, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> you know it's really bad of you when you miss it. Um, <laughs> that was great, man. I, I, I love Honestly, guys, all I can see is my butt. <laughs> well, I see intricacy, I see uh, nuance, uh, moves to the music that, you know, Carol and, and John and Yuris are known to do, and you guys look fantastic. And you look like you were having fun. It was a good program, definitely my favorite. Um, I think Karis's favorite as well. It was just, it, we peaked at the right time, you know, getting to Worlds is like everyone's goal in like figure skating when you're a little kid you're like i want to go to the worlds in the olympics and to make this goal uh was pretty cool and to have two strong skates and make our goal at the championships to not get kicked out after the short dance uh was pretty good <laughs> but can we skip forward to the scores so <laughs> Uh, okay, first of all, it's always been awful. I'm like half, I'm half blind, but I'm obviously wearing my contacts, but I'm always squinting. It's just a habit. Uh, but one of my favorite things, and this is kind of the characteristics of our, like, our, uh, from some of our performances, is that when the score comes out, uh, the crowd boos, which feels really, really, really empowering. <laughs> <laughs> Look at your face. Thank you. And great because when you're just like, oh, that, that's the look at my face, the worst. Um, <laughs> when you don't get the scores you want, and then like the, the audience also agrees that the scores are kind of S H I T, you're just like, yeah, yeah, stick it to them. Um, so I enjoyed that. That's one of stick my it to the man. first worlds, and the audience boos my scores. Uh, that's sick. Program number two is again another program with uh, Karis Ralph. This is from the 2010 Nationals in London. Uh, this is our original dance. Uh, original dances don't exist anymore. They're now called short dances, but same concept, except no uh, no compulsory dance in the middle. Uh, so this year was uh, the folk dance year, and you know everyone chooses country of origin they wanted to do so you know sometimes problematic everyone remembers this olympic year this is the russians pretending to be aboriginal people and being very racist so <laughs> naturally because i am a black man from the african diaspora or actually i'm caribbean uh they're like let's do an african program <laughs> and i mean at least i did it and not a white person but uh <laughs> oh my god but let's let's go into it and I, I I'm gonna because I like to call out problematic things I'm gonna call myself out so let's get it started first off All there's right, the so butt again right I look good I look ripped um I have a funny story about the mesh and I'll tell you about later but right away we have Karis kind of in a uh, a weave <laughs> <laughs> So it's a little bit kind of like, uh, is this kind of cultural appropriation -y of uh, African culture? Again, I am not uh, African. This is music from the Soweto Gospel Choir from South Africa. Um, but as I like to say, uh, my my ancestry started somewhere where you could probably dock a boat. So, <laughs> <laughs> but, but yeah, so it's a little bit problematic with the weave, but uh, I think, yeah, it's, again, I think it was better us than somebody else, but uh, yeah. The lesser of evils. The lesser of evils, and uh, we did, let's continue, but we did get uh, choreography and uh, like dancing instruction done by an actual uh, like African dance teacher. Um, I can't remember his name. That's one thing that's cool about skating is you kind of, you only scratch the surface, but you do get to kind of dive into different styles of movement and music and 
Yeah. Also, your butt looks great. <laughs> cool opening. Yeah, that little like kind of backward limp bow over under her leg. Yeah. Um, what you what our our word of the year for this whole program? This is actually our second African OD because this is the second time we did folk dance. Uh, it's just undulation, just lots of, like body from the gut from the core, mm. um, which I guess I'm actually really good at. If you notice, Asher loves a good head movement. <laughs> You're really undulating well. I'm watching the quality of my turns. I'm not going to give myself that bracket. <laughs> okay, which was all fine. All right, I might give myself a level two, maybe a level three on that one for section. <laughs> Oh, that's cool. The foot lock thing? Oh, yes. Break it down. I actually really love this step sequence. I love this program. It was sick. Just because I could literally just throw my body around. I love skating with reckless abandon. Uh, man, you get to do so many turns in the original dance. Now it's like five. <laughs> <laughs> It's really good energy. Uh, the costumes are great. Uh, oh, cool entrance into the turtles too. My favorite part is coming up right now. And you just, you just go, you gotta go for the soul clap. <laughs> uh, this music so by the hospital choir also just gets you going. Um, <laughs> Actually, this is pretty good. I'm like, yeah, if this good. Was like, day, I wouldn't be like, oh, that was a really crap program. And then stationary lift before you guys were even like, yo, stationary lifts are cool. So get out of here. With that. Okay. Um, <laughs> <laughs> and then a back art. And, a and then a standing O. Cool because we got a, a standing ovation. So I gotta tell you this funny story that happened with uh, that mesh. Uh, so to make it look like I have like I'm naked and just wearing a vest, like we got our we always get my mesh like dyed to match my skin tone. And so this year at a junior Grand Prix in Croatia, uh, you know the judges have their roundtable discussion after each event. Uh, they had a roundtable discussion and they approached my coach, uh, Carol Lane, and said that uh, I almost got a costume deduction because the mesh matched my skin too well. And so they were like very close to giving me a costume deduction. I uh, just took one more judge to press the button. Uh, and then she was like, okay, curious. And then in the free dance, there was a skater. I feel like he was from Azerbaijan. Uh, they did like a um, an Egyptian program. And again, he was trying to look at, like nude. So he had his mesh dyed to his skin tone, white guy. Uh, and then after she asked uh, one of the judges in the tech, like, was there a costume violation on him or was it any close? They're like, no. And so she's like, that's very interesting. So this white boy almost gets a, doesn't get a costume deduction by then my, my skater because it matches his black skin too well. He uh, almost got one. That's very interesting. And so then on the podium, we came second at the competition. So on the podium, I took off the mesh and actually went uh, topless. For the podium <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I love it. You're always an activist. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> Here we go for our my last uh, skating uh, video for me uh, doing some very nice cleansing self-deprecation. Uh, <laughs> this is my uh, skate 
my very last skate actually competitive skate with uh nicole orford at uh nationals in 2016 in i believe halifax me and nicole had only been together for i think at this point seven months maybe and we had uh won our first international um and we finished top five at this event so uh it was really cool to come back after a year off of skating and just really trying to enjoy skating again. And that's what this, was, what this year was for both of us. Uh, kind of a little bit of healing and just, you know, learning about a new person and then just really enjoying the skating. So uh, let's let's get into it. You look very dapper. Thank you. Thank you. I'm supposed to be a um, professor at Hobbit. Or Cambridge, or wherever that guy was. I'm not. I'm not sure. Cambridge. <laughs> was it Cambridge? Mm. Mm. Um, so you know, the story is about a couple. A man falls into illness, and she's supposed to be a loving partner and supporting him. Uh, mm. Also, uh, uh, Ethan Hawke. Sorry, not Ethan Hawke. <laughs> Stephen Hawking was such a dick in this movie. I think he was just a dick in general. <laughs> like, this lady takes care of you when you uh, come down with this horrible disease and you sometime, and you somehow cheat on her with, like, your assistant. I would have... This is ableist, but I would have pushed him down the stairs. <laughs> <laughs> like this twizzle sequence seamlessly into the music and the dance. You guys look great together. Yeah, I really, it was a, a really good partnership. It was short lived. Uh, it would have been nice to skate another season, but I'm actually happy we ended it there. Um, just because it was just fun and joyful. And, but yeah, we did look really great together. Um, Nicole is an amazing skater. Um, maybe if we had gotten together a little earlier maybe things would have been a little bit different but uh you know with the powers that be at that nationals you know we were at the age where like we wanted to make olympics or make the world team or you know get a grand prix kind of stuff and with the field being as stacked as it was it was paul and piper uh caitlin and andrew and tess and scott you're like okay who's gonna break past the top three of that so it was kind of made our decision for us. Like, not that we didn't love skating, but you just, you don't want to keep competing for fourth place, you know? <laughs> I like how much storytelling is done in dance and you guys always stuck to that. You know, yeah. something I always, I always find, um, you know, your school does such a great job of. There's, there's a storyline, there's, there's something that you can kind of like, you can see the artistic uh, rendition of what you're trying to express and I love that. Yeah, I mean, for me, my favorite thing was always to like be able to connect to this, to the, the music, and, and create a story. Otherwise, it just feels flat for me. Um, and you know, this was actually choreographed by uh, Megan Wing and Aaron Lowe, uh, as we did train a week. Uh, and if you recognize that movie, it's because I did it on Battle Blades with Jessica. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yeah, uh, 
shout out to our coaches back at Scarborough as well. You know, Joel Wood, who worked with a really great uh, ballroom dancer who's worked with us on the ice to just really pull out the stories and arm movement and the storytelling behind each arm movement and look and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, this was a really nice dental performance. And one thing that I will give myself credit for is that I do have range, okay? <laughs> I <laughs> yeah, you do. All types of programs. That's the only compliment I'm gonna give myself. Uh, <laughs> you, you already gave yourself one. You said you pick your foot up while I'll turn it. Oh, that's right. Sorry, that's right. That's and right. you said you have a nice bum. See, you've got good self-esteem. <laughs> <laughs> well, Asher, that was a lovely trip down memory lane. It was so nice to see your freshly shaved face and lovely one foot turns <laughs> and your range circle it was mint yeah level four come on and it was all preparing you for battle of the blades thank you the pinnacle <laughs> of figure scanning that's it so guys that's the episode that's me finger painting uh i hope you enjoyed it leave your comments below let me know if i was great awful middle Why'd you even try? Whatever. Uh, be nice, be me. Uh, please be nice. I'm very sensitive. Uh, but that's our show. <laughs> Thank you for joining us this week. <laughs>